lying to try to make a relationship work you are destined for trouble reason being habits come as a result of repetition the more you repeat the more you take whatever you're doing for granted you become that so if someone has a tendency of lying mm -hmm. or you yourself in a relationship please talk about it before you get married yes. because those are some of the monsters waiting to destroy your house one day mm -hmm. when you got pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits I'm, 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 I'm becoming a part of Pal Radio family. Yes. Yeah, and Reset. Um, I'm a church minister. I've been in the ministry since 2000. And uh, I'm uh, specialized in life coaching, mm -hmm. in relationships, in many areas. But today, specifically, relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Talking about how to, to prepare, prepare for, for ma marriage. <laughs> now, let's even start from that point. Why is preparation for marriage very important? You, 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 preparation is so important because if you don't prepare well, even in cooking, you don't prepare well, the whole thing comes out bad. Yes. And in truly relationship is as a marriage that relationship leads to is a sanctity that was ordained by God, meaning it is special. In fact, I compare it to an, a, a gold, and you know, what do you call it? An apple of gold mm -hmm. in the setting of silver. Mm -hmm. It always shines out. So literally, marriage based on God's principle is not one of those we play around with. Yes. Relationship that should be built to lead us into that kind of marriage mm -hmm is something that is so special but uh, I, I don't know whether listeners today will agree with me that this is going to be one of those hard difficult topics yes <laughs> yeah trust me you because as i've gone through scriptures yes literally the sanctity of the single community we've lost it mm -hmm. we are losing it mm -hmm. so that preparation i hope this this particular show yes. will help us to prepare our hearts yes to become <laughs> and that's why we, we we are here to reset we click that reset oh, button yes so if you have your own issues if you have your own analogy about how preparation should be we reset all that. And let's start even from that point, because when I talk about preparation, where does it start? Um, the, the preparation, what happened when you are getting into a relationship, hoping for it to get into a marriage? Mm -hmm. It is who you are that you bring into a relationship. Mm -hmm. It is who you are that indeed will cultivate and make that marriage better. Mm -hmm. So, meaning if I don't work on myself mm -hmm. in having a personal relationship, sanctity with God, then what I bring into that relationship, what I'll bring into that marriage, indeed, so it all starts with me working on myself and understanding what God expects of me. Mm -hmm. Good. Amazing. Now, the question could be this. Uh, maybe it's a, maybe it's, let's say it's a lady that I'm in love with a wonderful God fearing mm -hmm. man, and uh, you know I want to know <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how should I prepare now to you know to to even become a wife you know. I, I, I want I want uh, I want to bring an analogy just from the scriptures to have a clear understanding. Yes, you know the book of Genesis in the beginning of creation because it's always good to go back to the origin. of of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Genesis 2.24 says, For this reason, a man shall leave or separate from his father and mother, and the two shall join together, and they'll become one flesh. No longer two, but one. Mm -hmm. You're getting it. Yes. And so when we come from there, then you quickly ask yourself, when I become one, clean water, dirty water, I'm not abusing anybody. Mm -hmm. God calls his children a royal priesthood, a holy nation, yes. a people belonging to God. So that means that even as I get into a relationship with a single brother, I have to be very intentional to maintain that sanctity of marriage that God planned into the future for through that marriage god expects to have a seed that will come to build his kingdom so currently as a single person today i want to take the position of being a single person mm -hmm. so currently as a single person when i get into a relationship knowing very well what god expects of me that i'm going to become one with that person where do i begin from mm -hmm. number one i've got to be very clear about my core values understanding 
what is my belief system and this particular belief system that i have the person i'm having a relationship with is my belief system going to merge with this so that we, we become one together in our belief system so even as we date these are things to look at in my preparation mm-hmm. the person i'm dating what does he believe in as you continue with that you know the second part you got to understand you know Jose said one thing my people perish for lack of knowledge yes and so ignorance is not an excuse mm-hmm. i don't know what the bible says i don't know what god expects of me it's not an excuse because at the end of it all what happened once you're married you lay your bed you get that brother what happened he's not a, he's not a believer who will be beaten <laughs> it is you yes and so these are some of the things that you go to go back this particular brother that i'm getting into relationship does he have the knowledge because he's going to lead right yes the man leads and so if he is not able to lead me to christ right now as i am in the single relationship there's a problem somewhere yeah then as you continue the other part again you know marriage is a covenant Yes, it is a covenant. So covenant means that both parties have to agree mm-hmm. and both parties agreeing have to also have a clear understanding of the covenant I am getting into and this is a covenant that is eternal. So the person I'm signing this covenant with eternal covenant does the covenant go by the bylaws of the Lord God Almighty. Then as you continue in that, you know this this covenant god now comes and describes that this covenant ought to be made by the royalty and if i may ask you that does the the, the royalty family just marry anybody no yes. you see the way they're very particular <laughs> they, not yeah. just anybody <laughs> yes but you find that as christians as children of god who mm-hmm. god himself calls as royalty send his own son to come and die for us we still give ourselves just to accept to marry just anybody looking at the financial angle he has money i'm okay with that yeah so long as that is he'll provide but it's the same money that will take him with another woman to dubai yeah and he leaves you there <laughs> it is the same money you're looking for that will take them to mombasa mm-hmm. and you're left there because what happened we got to have a clear clear perspective of an understanding of what it means to be a royalty to mean to be a daughter and a child of god that's very important then apart from that again you know men lead and women submit so the man that I'm in a relationship, the question, does he understand what it means to lead? Does he understand that Christ, who he has been called to imitate and follow, the expectation Christ died to honor the church. Mm-hmm. Christ died to serve the church. So as a single person, if this brother is not serving, if this sister who has been called is not submitting not to me to the laws of god there's a problem there why yeah. set myself up for problems yes please the, the, that is a very important aspect because you know the bible says you know light and darkness cannot walk you know <laughs> cannot walk together oh, you yes. know the Bible says, do not be con you know do not be unequally yoked together mm. with the unbeliever mm. for what fellowship mm. has light with darkness gotta do with the darkness yeah let's say you're born again and uh you know this sister is not born again or yeah. maybe let's more actually especially this also this one even happens to a lot of ladies they hook up with this guy he's not born again but uh they have this aspect that maybe he's going to change i'm going to pray for him <laughs> <laughs> my brother my brother i think it's very important yeah one of the things we have to understand that we have a war that we are fighting in the universe and the bible is so clear yes that our battle is not against flesh and blood but against evil forces mm-hmm. and then the bible also tells you very well that you'll have among you wolf dressed in sheep clothes very important so this thing of saying oh he will change later on really the the bible (laughs) says do not be yoked with non-believers what does fellowship what does light have in common with darkness meaning what is god saying yeah from the word go even as you go on Mm date do not touch them do not associate with them man the old testament was so i I don't know (laughs) it was the old testament yes but even just in the Arab community, look at our, our, our brothers. Mm-hmm. 
If you go get one of their daughters, what will happen? Completely, that, that daughter is completely removed out of the inheritance. True. But what about you and I who are the children of God who Christ died for? How comes we are lowering the standards to a point where we just want to go pick just anybody on the street and we are hoping that God will do a miracle, yet the same God has already, already told you, these are my principles within which to operate. Yes. Do not be yoked with them. Bad company corrupts good character. Do not be deceived. What is it saying? It is obvious. It is clear. There's no hope, wish, and jam, trial, and error. It is clear for God. But those who have been chosen belong mm -hmm. to me. They must associate with those who were chosen. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Meskia <laughs> yo. Do not beat marriage. Yeah. So why should we why should we always consider this that this person ought to be born again? Good. So there are few areas quickly. Mm -hmm. You have Paul said mm -hmm. he who marries will face many troubles. Yes. <laughs> but many quickly you find in relationships as we are building, mm -hmm. when troubles come up, mm -hmm. we jump off. Now, this is where now you go to go back. The personal trait, the person that I'm working with, building relationship with, are they good conflict resolver? Mm -hmm. Are they willing to listen to the word of God so that we are helped together? Very important because we are in the battle and the enemy is the devil. It is not our person. Yes. Another part of it that you got to understand, in choosing wisely, there are people who indeed have a baggage of their past like men who i know who have known who beat their wives or who beat other can you imagine single brothers beating girls yeah it is happening but if you go back you go back to the history mm -hmm. of what their parents possibly did and they copied the copied what their fathers did mm -hmm. these are some of the baggages to prepare and work through before you get committed to this particular person as you see any fit of rage any anger yeah. coming up mm -hmm. do not ignore such deal with them immediately mm -hmm. the other part again in the battle you're going to battle fail, you're going to fight you got to choose people to fight with well yeah because your goal is to win right mm -hmm. someone who does not fight putting on the armor of god yeah oh god help me that's somebody destined for failure yeah very good sign to look at the other part again that you got to look at quickly in as you prepare yourself it's called integrity mm -hmm. if a person is not honest with you already lying to you today if you are already lying to try to make a relationship work, you are destined for trouble. Reason being, habits come as a result of repetition. The more you repeat, the more you take whatever you're doing for granted, you become that. So if someone has a tendency of lying, mm -hmm. or you yourself in a relationship, please talk about it before you get married. Yeah. Because those are some of the monsters waiting to destroy your house one day mm -hmm. when you got married mm -hmm. the other thing again willingness to sacrifice and to give up some of the things that because marriage relationship is give and take yeah i come from a different culture different background me and my wife are not from the same culture True. and this is something i had to learn because mm -hmm. she's embo luos and luos and we have our culture we have our traditions and we have our inheritance all those things she got scared when she was getting married to, mm -hmm. before she got when she was dating me mm -hmm. and we had to talk through these particular details and i had to understand it is my work to be able to give up my traditions she gives up her traditions and then we have one tradition for our house that tradition is jesus christ and his principles becoming the tradition upon which we build our foundation mm -hmm. those are some of the things we learned that as we build relationship you cannot ignore those things mm -hmm. the other part again learning to fight fairly learning to fight fairly you find that differences will happen and when these differences occur there is a scriptural, biblical way of handling differences. Mm -hmm. So fairly means being able to listen to the other person, being able to speak clearly, and finding middle ground. And fairly also means to be humble enough to allow somebody to come in and to help you to deal with this particular issue. So these things are very important. Let me just shoot them quickly so we can discuss through them. Eh? Yeah. The other one is finding your identity. Because you get an insecure mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. what will happen? 
He brings insecurity or she brings the insecurity in that particular marriage. But one who has an identity who is secure in Jesus Christ, I'm okay for who I am. My brother, that person yeah. indeed will bring you the joy of Christ in that, that particular house. Mm -hmm. And so do not ignore the little foxes, you know, where someone has an issue, emotions and all that. Please deal with those. The other part again, relationship is commitment. Mm -hmm. It's not a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> because now when you base relationships on feeling, so every time you feel bad, you leave that marriage. Yeah. But commitment is part of the covenant, meaning I'm in it as the Bible says, the man will leave his mother and father until the death do us part. So if someone is not committed to your current relationship and they keep on doing as they see fit, they walk out of you whenever you have a differences, there's a problem there. So part of it is being able to identify Am I secure in Jesus Christ? Do I have my identity in him? Do I feel fulfilled in him? I need nothing more because the Bible, Jesus says, seek first my kingdom and all these things will be given to you as well. Yeah. Good. You know, sadly, we are living in a, in a society where I, I had someone mentioning this, that, you know what, me don't care about this marriage. If, if it doesn't work, so you already have this. If it doesn't work, I will, I will just leave. But, but but the Bible says until do a, uh, until death do, do us part. But for us, we we enter as if uh, when talking about the aspect that it if it doesn't work, then I leave. Life will give you what you ask of it. Mm -hmm. What you sow is what you reap. True. If you believe in your mind, and if you come in a relationship and you're not ready to commit, trust me, it will not go for long. Because the Bible says, he who marries will face many problems so you must be willing to commit to solving those problems not running away from no them. <laughs> commitment covenant to yeah. solve the problem is not optional mm -hmm. but will it be automatic not really that's why they tell you the first five years of marriage or marriage is a, a years of customizing understanding one another what if we took it the first maybe five one year of dating being the one to take care of that then you get into marriage when you're ready mm -hmm. yeah but we wait until we are married hoping that things will change while we had a chance to change or to walk out we never worked on it oh my brother at times it is too late because of the choices we make we said we are free to make choices, but we are not free from the consequences of our choices. Once you make a choice, mm -hmm. the consequences come with it, mm -hmm. whatever choice it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I want to bring this aspect, even as we talk about preparation for marriage, mm -hmm. the aspect of friendship in marriage. Because many people think that when you get into marriage, it's all about lovey doveys. You know, baby, I love you. <laughs> 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 but sometimes those feelings are not even there. And if you didn't develop friendship before getting married, then yeah. it, it's going to be tough in that marriage. Mm. So why is friendship very, very important? Friendship is important. Why? You say wounds from a friend can be trusted. Mm. Meaning you've already built a friendship with this person. You've known their upside and the downside. You've been able to accommodate. Why? So friendship opens a door for you to understand somebody very deeply and passionately. Mm -hmm. Hence, as you relate what happens, you relate from an informed opinion informed idea of the person and friendship enables then you to know how to accommodate them but if it is based on feelings mm -hmm. really really okay feelings are good i'm not demonizing <laughs> feelings yeah god gave us feelings as sensor sensory organs like sensors within us yeah. and feelings are there supposed to show that something somewhere is wrong that needs to be changed or need to be molded feelings are not supposed to be obeyed they are just a sensor god has put within us and they are necessary i feel scared i see a lion what do i do i take off because feeling 
I don't want to go to biology and all that. Yeah. The adrenaline boost that that f- you understand. Mm-hmm. So feelings are good, mm-hmm. but we must not build relationships, especially a relationship heading to marriage on feelings. Not really. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, deny yourself. If you want to follow, come after me. What is yourself? Your feelings. If you don't give up everything, you cannot be my disciple. What does it mean? I have to understand myself. Some of those things, the feelings, the fears that compromise my relationship indeed with God because I am giving myself to his son or his daughter. So if I'm not able to give myself by denying myself, really, will it go far? Mm -hmm. It will not. Mm -hmm. You understand? So compromises must be made in a relationship. And one of those compromises is understanding self, understanding those feelings, and being able to manage them. And that's called emotional intelligence. You know, these temperaments, they're just, you know, things that uh, they don't really matter most. Mm. But one thing we need to understand, first of all, there are many temperaments. And uh, we have the the melancholic yeah we have the choleric but only we're going to get time and discuss all this yeah yeah the choleric the phlegmatic mm. and uh, we have the sanguine who yeah. are all over <laughs> yes 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 but so tell us how important for us to understand our temperament so that when you come to marriage yeah we don't bring a lot of problems um we, we have to go back you mm. know uh, they, they're saying the the normal kata kata suit according to your size uh paul paul clarifies this by saying it is he who made some to be apostle you know some to be preacher they say they have the body has many parts mm-hmm. the eye cannot see say i do not need the and and so temperaments people have different upbringings some they say they're genetic and all that mm-hmm. The, I always, I always say that uh, regardless of the temper, because the temperaments have the downside and the upside as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So understanding who you are is very important. Because when you understand who you are, then quickly understanding the partner that you are dating who they are, yeah. and some of the possible downside of their temperament or upside of their temperament and then the two of you agree on certain norms you also make your covenant how do we handle each other within these ups and downs that we have Mm -hmm. because at the end of it all again number one understand so knowledge of that is important so temperament cannot be ignored not yes but i have not say the truth not dug deep down into temperaments mm-hmm. so if you're inviting please invite a psychologist to come and talk about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but all i know but biblically as i've known over the years regardless of who you are the aim is to be transformed into the image of jesus christ regardless of your temperament mm-hmm. so if you have your downside the downside what how does it affect you in either being like jesus or not being like jesus yeah and then you walk through that. I have my own. And so, can I leave it there? Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Amazing. Thank Amazing. you for excusing me. <laughs> yeah. But there's a part again, you know, apart from the temperament, yeah. you know, one of the things that the world is so big about is the outside beauty. Mm-hmm. When a sister is looking for someone who's uh, well built, like on a six pack. you know, six pack, and, 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 and uh, sisters again go out of their way now to dress almost semi naked to be able to lure men. Um, and, and, and that is part of the preparation that comes that if you are not able to be secure with yourself and love yourself and let the man mm-hmm. or the woman love you for who you are. Am I saying you don't dress well? You dress well. But if your motive and the desire to get that particular brother or sister is by the way you dress or how much, much money you have, what if that goes away? Because I want you to quickly remember, if that is what you as a brother, that's what lures and desires, makes you desire a woman. What if one day they get a baby, then they add the weight, they have the seven pack. What will happen? <laughs> now will you go for another one again? <laughs> that's why commitment comes in from the word go. Yeah, you know, if you focus on the outside appearance, uh-huh. truly it says beauty is deceptive. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Oh my brother. goodness! Yeah, you know, I, I love what you're saying because uh, I think I was telling a friend of mine yeah. uh, the other day that uh, you know, if ladies present themselves like a piece of meat, they, yeah. will, they will always attract dogs. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Unfortunately, is this bitter, bitter true that yes. we are using these words? Yes. But this is what is happening. Yeah. 
then unfortunately mm-hmm. our sisters as well in church who believe in christ yeah. are imitating the standards of the world and they're going down to follow after the bollywood the movie stars and we have the principles guiding principles within the bible yeah the other part again that you, you've got to be very careful just like everybody has a unique fingerprint each and every single person was created uniquely mm-hmm. we must not compare i have to be okay with who i am and if i have to really make an expensive adjustment to get you <laughs> will i maintain that for a long time not really I've got to be who I am. Does it mean I don't grow? I have to grow, but within the limits of the Bible that are provided. Because a man who lacks knowledge is a problem. You've got to grow in knowledge. Mm-hmm. You've got to grow in wisdom. Wisdom is provided by God. But if I have to go out of my way financially in my dressing to be able to please somebody, how long will I keep that moving? That's mm-hmm. a problem. Yeah. Do not. Yeah, and, and even as you're talking about, uh, you know, making sure that be yourself. Yeah. But there is this aspect also, you being yourself, and it's it's not attractive. Let's say uh, you have this particular character, and is that, ah, this is who I am. That this uh, I didn't, I didn't, no, 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 no. I didn't mean that. There are people who have said, and they've used that excuse, yes. this is who I am, mm-hmm. accept me. Or... <laughs> You understand? Yeah. That's a wrong place to be. Now, that's what I talk about. The woman who fears the Lord, the beauty. Mm-hmm. And a man, a honorable man of integrity, who's there to honor sisters. You understand? Yeah. And so being selfish simply, come on, my brother. Look, look at what Jesus Christ did. Mm-hmm. He died for me on the cross. Did yeah. I deserve it? Not really. So a man being himself is simply, I want to be like Jesus Christ, because that's where I now talk about identity. Finding your identity in Jesus Christ and being comfortable with that. But I quickly would say, wicked, wicked, wicked character yeah. need to be repented of. Mm-hmm. Especially things that easily bring conflict yeah. if they are traditionally based, if they are historically based, if they are from a culture of your father, mother, those is where the Bible says you are converted in regard to your past to be transformed into the likeness of who? Mm-hmm. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. So that is where I will tell someone, don't judge the person so harshly. Mm-hmm. Please, there could be a past they've not dealt with and they have no idea how to deal with it. Seek for counseling. Before you throw or you stop the relationship, seek for guidance and counseling. And so that, because at the end of it all, what if God put you in the in, in you know in place to be able to sanctify that brother mm-hmm. to help them to see themselves? Yes. What if you give up give give up very quickly? Then mm-hmm. who will? Who will? Because the Bible says you gotta be we have to be each other's keeper. The other thing is um do not I have thought I've thought about do not compare, right? Yes. I compare. Let me leave that alone. Seek to understand the areas in your life that brings you conflict with other people mm. is a bet is a good way of preparation yeah because if i continuously get into conflict conflict number one begins from within if i'm not able to manage my inner self yes then how will i be able to manage other people Mm -hmm. how will i manage children who god will bring my way how will i manage the world to be able to come to help the world to be sanctified Mm -hmm. and to be you talk about evangelism right yes the pulpit uh, is it is it uh, is it timothy who says watch your life and doctrine closely for if you leave and watch it well, it will not only save you, but you'll also save those who look at you. Yes. So meaning as a Christian, a child of God, the honor of the kingdom, my brother, I'm a royalty. So any coco mimi, little misbehavior, we need to get rid of such to remain sanctified mm-hmm. because our marriages, a marriage, a marriage, of a brother who loves God and a sister who loves God coming together, well, what will that bring? It will bring glow to the society because men see and say, surely God lives in this world. And that's why before we even get married, what do we in preparation? Got to have inner sanctity. Mm-hmm. I got to take care of myself. So I should not ignore that. Mm-hmm. Take me or leave it. 
not really mm -hmm. and even as we bring this to a close we have like uh three minutes uh, and i want us to talk, i want you to talk about uh you know the aspect of how we, it's, it's very important for you to pray for your future spouse you know because uh, i remember my wife was telling me you know me i prayed for you before i met you yeah and and, and it was very 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 peculiar and for me i loved it that you know the fact that you you foresee me before, before even saw me in, in physical like so yeah. why is it important for you to pray for your future husband or for your future wife um, imagine that's a spirit leading. That was my closing remarks. <laughs> <laughs> I had planned it. Yes. Um, uh, prayer, Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Knock and mm. the doors will be opened. But the moment we go to prayer, we literally are going to submit to God to be able to direct our thoughts and mm. our hearts. Huh? And so prayer and fasting plays a very significant role because when you pray and you fast what happens to you you become humble at the foot of the cross mm -hmm. and then god directs your heart to that which he desires for you for god has planned everything including when it will rain who you will marry nothing happens by an accident in this world however disobedience is not planned so what prayer does I prayed myself before I married my wife. Mm -hmm. And my wife is exactly the person I was praying for, the beauty. Mm -hmm. But as we were <laughs> fellowshipping in the church, what would happen? Yeah. She'd be like, mm -mm, this woman is going marry me. <laughs> but prayer brought her to my cage. You understand? Because we just went once, things happen. I was going to explain something. Yeah. So prayers do magic. And prayer simply is a sign that you trust God mm -hmm. and allowing God to shepherd and to guide your heart to the person that He wants you for men mm -hmm. to love, to wash, to cleanse. And for the sister, the brother that he wants you to submit to so that you glorify God together in that particular house. Yeah. God is only God who gives. And that the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. Good, my brother. From favor the, from the who? From, from the, the Lord. Yeah. So should we then not pray? I should pray. fasting my brother to mm. humble ourselves before the lord mm. for him to guide us to that which he desires for us amazing question so if you're getting married uh are you suppose are you uh hey i'm trying to get this question that are you are you targeting to face you know to face problems i think he's talking about the that Good. point what i mentioned um let me give a little analogy yeah god created the universe and he saw that everything he created was good then there was a fall of man yes. where problems began. Mm. But when the problem began, what happened? God in his mercy sent his son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to come and rescue us. But Jesus Christ himself says, in this world, you will have problems. But take heart, for I have overcome. The world. But he has also mm -hmm. given you solutions to yes. those particular problems. Mm -hmm. As he says that no solution has overtaken you that which is beyond man but what he gives you he'll also give you a way out of it mm -hmm. so in jesus christ yes you'll face but it's a way out for it Thank how you. can guys follow you on social media uh, simply go to kochawidi.org kochawidi.org is my website mm -hmm. everything about me is right there from the videos and all that mm -hmm. but my telephone number is 724 994066 if you go to kochawidi my facebook is linked there my youtube channel is linked there my instagram everything is linked there yeah thank you thank you so much 96.9 fm pearl radio